The latest research on the origin of this novel coronavirus has grabbed public attention. The study analyzed three variants of the novel coronavirus and pointed out that most cases carrying the ancestral type were found outside East Asia. On January 31, Indian scientists published a pre-printed article online claiming uncanny similarity of the coronavirus with HIV and pointed out that it is unlikely to be fortuitous in nature. The findings of the article, which has now been retracted, were quickly refuted by experts. The preprint published on the website was not peer-reviewed. Meanwhile, another conspiracy theory floated, claiming the virus to be a bioweapon leaked from the laboratory. Since the Wuhan Institute of Virology and China's first biosafety level 4 laboratory, it was once the hotbed of such conspiracy theories. Some conspiracy theories claim the Institute had been conducting bioweapon research and the coronavirus was leaked accidentally from the lab. The theory was rejected by many scientists. U.S. military lab at Fort Detrick has also been involved in the virus conspiracy theories. The laboratory was closed last July. In early March, a petition submitted to the White House website listed some coincidences between the closure of the laboratory and the outbreak of COVID-19, hinting at some connection between the two events. Is the virus man-made? A report of the WHO-China Joint Mission on COVID-19 released in late February shows coronavirus is a zoonotic virus. On March 17, a joint research team of US, UK and Australian scientists provided evidence that the coronavirus is neither manufactured in a laboratory nor intentionally manipulated. It's commonly believed that wildlife may be the host of coronavirus. On February 17, a statement from 27 scientists published at Lancet noted that the virus is likely to have emerged from the wild. The WHO shares the same opinion, but what kind of animal is the host? On February 3, research by Chinese experts found that the coronavirus is 96% identical at the whole genome level to a bat coronavirus. Bats could be the probable origin. Pangolins also attracted the attention of experts. Joint research by the mainland and Hong Kong scientists found there's a similarity between novel coronavirus and coronavirus in pangolins, suggesting pangolins may be intermediate hosts. However, the specific host remains unknown. Although the outbreak was first reported in China, there are many assumptions about when it began to spread. The disease was first spotted among vendors and customers at the seafood market in December. In addition, having Huang'an seafood market exposure was once one of the diagnostic criteria in the initial stage of the outbreak. Therefore, the market was initially regarded as the origin. However, an article published in The Lancet on January 24 showed the first patient identified on December 1 neither had any epidemiological link to later cases, not any exposure to Huanan seafood market. A U.S. expert, Robert Gary, said in an interview, There were definitely cases there, but that wasn't the origin of the virus believing the virus had already spread before the outbreak at the seafood market. Is the market the origin? There are no answers yet. Gary is not the only expert who believes the pandemic started earlier than December. Italian scientist Giuseppe Remuzzi talked to some family doctors who had told them about strange pneumonia in December or even in November, NPR reported. That they remember having seen very strange pneumonia, very severe, particularly in old people, in December and even in November. 
it means that the virus was circulating at least in Lombardy before we were aware of this outbreak occurring in China. According to Daily Mail, between October and December, hundreds of people were admitted to hospital with pneumonia and flu-like symptoms in Italy. Is Italy the origin? There is no evidence to prove that yet. The U.S. is also under suspicion as the origin. The flu season started in October. So far, the flu has claimed over 20,000 lives. But the CDC director has admitted that some of them may have died of COVID-19. In the same month, the U.S. organized a global pandemic exercise with the participation of the deputy director of the CIA. The exercise simulated an outbreak of a novel zoonotic coronavirus transmitted from bats to pigs to humans that eventually spreads effectively from person to person, finally leading to a serious pandemic. Recently, there were reports that U.S. military intelligence tried to raise the alarm about China's coronavirus outbreak in November when it was still embryonic. U.S.'s action raised suspicion among people of what it knew before China reported the outbreak. But it is still a suspicion. Speaking on the origin of the virus, Chinese ambassador to the U.S. Chui Tian Kai stressed in an interview. This is a job for the scientists to do, right. not for diplomats, not for journalists to speculate. Because such speculation will help nobody. It's very harmful. Speaking on the information virus and political virus, WHO said, The focus of all political parties should be to save their people. Please don't politicize this virus. Unity at national level. No politicizing. No need to use COVID to score political punches. 